Nissa and the doctor went to Stockbridge to celebrate Christmas, choosing to go to 1899 so as to avoid bumping into Andrew. After watching a play about the doctor, the pair went to 1199 and encountered the Rutans, who attempted to absorb Nissa's knowledge and for whom she supplied unlimited energy knowing that it would prove to be their undoing. They returned to 1899 and boarded a Rutan ship to end its influence over Osbert's descendants, initially unaware that the ship was in poor condition and about to explode. Audio. Castle of Fear. Awakening in a time bubble created by the ship's explosion. Nissa met a possible future version of herself known as the Lady of the Manor. She and the Doctor stopped the bubble from expanding to include the whole of Earth, preventing them from becoming the Lord and Lady, but they were unable to escape from the bubble in time as it exploded. Audio. The Eternal Summer. Nissa and the Doctor found themselves in 45th century Stockbridge where she, Lisette Barclay and Rinkso Jabbery were taken captive by the Daleks. The two travelers attempted to save Lisette as Stockbridge was destroyed, but to no avail. Following Stockbridge's destruction, Nyssa attempted to comfort the doctor and suggested that they go off to happier times and places. Audio. Plague of the Daleks. Upon receiving a distress call, Nyssa and the doctor arrived on the SS Hermes and met Ailsa and the ship's crew. Learning of their ancestors' arrival in the Ardelbin system a hundred years previously. Pros. Curiosity. Nyssa and the doctor attended a Christmas party in 1539 at which they were taken prisoner by Norfolk due to Henry VIII's attraction to Nyssa rather than Catherine Howard. The two women became friends and ladies-in-waiting until the doctor got Nyssa back to the TARDIS, after which they traveled forward in time to ensure that Henry fell in love with Catherine and that he would marry her after Anne of Cleves. Pros. God send me well to keep. Helping the doctor locate all copies of Ronnie D. Clinton's Listen to the Beat on Royal Hospital Street but unaware of why, Nyssa met Alan Collins. The two managed to get him to swap his copy for the doctor's copy of Ain't Got No Home to Go To. One that Nyssa knew that the doctor would miss, and she finally learned that they had been hunting the vinyl down due to them containing a hypnotic track by the master. Pros. Tweaker. In 1665. Nyssa and the Doctor arrived in Red Lodge and were attacked by the Spira who took their forms and attempted to absorb them. Nyssa was able to trick the Spira into adopting the Doctor's form, resulting in fatal anomalies which killed them due to their belief that the Doctor was a human and had only one heart. The two travelers then remained in Red Lodge, as the Spira attempt to replicate her had brought the subject of Traken to the forefront of her mind for the first time in a long while and she wished to watch the sunrise. Audio. The demons of Red Lodge. To try to cheer Nyssa up, the doctor took her to the Concordum to hear track and music and thwarted the time siren Airy C. After traveling to 1968 and learning that she had planned to use Jeff Cooper's White Waves, Soft Haze, to feast on entropy. Audio. The entropy composition. When the doctor was arrested and imprisoned on Folly, Nyssa attempted to get herself arrested as well in order to join him but was unsuccessful. She got a job as a lab assistant at Follies University Hospital with Nathan Dask's help and was eventually imprisoned by Noreen Chaplin due to a conversation that Nyssa had with Jansen Hart. Audio. Doing time. Nyssa posed as a European actress under the name, Nyssa Tracken, and appeared in The Devil's Whisper, a section of Dr. Demonic's Tales of Terror, as a character named Felicity. Audio. Special features. Nyssa and the doctor visited the Miox's prison, first encountering his prisoner aspect and attempting to free him from his warden aspect. Nyssa was captured by the warden and forced to wear a compliance collar until the doctor told both aspects the truth of their existence, after which she and the doctor departed. Audio. My brother's keeper. In 1892 Norwood, Nyssa was infected with the interplanetarian. She was saved by the doctor, who used an ancient language including the word, tremors, to defeat it. Audio. The Interplanetarian, on Fabula where tales were currency, Nyssa and the doctor found themselves in a tavern where they had to tell stories. Audio. Smuggling tales. A sultan forced Nyssa to tell him stories of her adventures, leading her to tell him about her visits to the Miox's prison, Norwood and Fabula. 
She and the doctor eventually learnt that he was trying to steal the doctor's identity and steal the TARDIS, but the doctor's memories made him break down. Audio. 1001 Nights. Nissa was taken by the doctor to 1963 to see the Beatles and the two became aware of Lenny Kruger's changes to the timeline, using the common men to gain power. By means of a blood test on Corky Goldsmith, she learnt that the common men were non-humans from Vyalna and helped to defeat Lenny, restoring the timeline. Audio. 1963. Fanfare for the common men. On the 23rd of November of the same year, Nissa and the doctor visited Bob Dovey's house, pretending to be police officers. There, Nissa found Bob's parents' corpses shrunk by the decayed master inside of a dollhouse. Audio. The light at the end. Nissa and the doctor landed on Traxana's moon, where Nissa was kidnapped by the cell spiders. She met Thebe and learnt that the spiders had been made by the Daleks for their war against the Movellans. Nissa and the doctor were both captured by the Daleks, Audio, Alien Heart, and taken to Mojix, but they quickly managed to escape. Unbeknownst to her, the Daleks created a duplicate of her. Audio, Dalek Soul. They later visited Sniddlegarth in 1357. Audio. The second oldest question. 